All right, here's today's money-saving tip. I'm not really a cruise person since, you know, I'm terrified of water and sharks and pretty much everything in the ocean, but a lot of people are. And since we're still in the middle of cruise season, it's actually a great time to think about how to save you money on cruises. So here are some top cruise ship steals. Not to be confused with things that you can steal on cruises, because that will not end well. First up, a lot of people will tell you to book your next cruise while still on your current cruise. Seems a little odd, but usually if you do that, your deposit that you have to put down up front is less than what you'd have to do outside of the cruise. Plus, a lot of cruise lines will actually give you money through some sort of generous onboard credit for the cruise you're currently on. Next, be discerning about what you're doing for onshore excursions. Sometimes that means DIY, because you can often get a cool experience for way less by doing your own research and doing it yourself. But of course, you gotta be safe depending on where you are. But if you do buy one through the cruise line, make sure you do it during a portion when it's on sale. Sign up for emails, promotional things, etc., And you can usually get those cruise extensions for about 20% off. Next, join an online group, whether it's book, face, or something else. But just make sure you're doing one for a community community of people that do cruises and not for the company running the cruise. You'll get all sorts of tips and tricks and hacks and steals. Next up, cabin upgrades. Cruises don't really do the free cabin upgrades anymore, but they do do sort of inexpensive ones. And the way that works is that you book a regular one and then they'll give you a chance to bid on a more expensive one or by the time the bidding is over for something that's not that much more. Okay, here's a big one. Arrive at your cruise a day early. Sometimes that might mean that you road trip, but pretty much all the time, it's gonna mean booking a hotel for one night before the cruise starts. Remember, most cruises are non-refundable, so if you don't make it, you're out of luck. And if you've ever been on a cruise, then I'm sure you've heard the horror stories about people that barely made it on. And what you're not hearing is about all the people that never made it, period. Which again, sounds great to me because I would purposefully not, because again, sharks. If you're someone that's going to enjoy a lot of adult beverages, consider buying one of the drink packages, but actually do the math to figure out whether it's gonna be worth it. And most importantly, read the fine print for what it includes and make sure you know what's included in the non-drink package. And this is one of my favorite ones. Most cruise cabins have magnetic walls. So a lot of times you don't actually need a bigger cabin to store all your stuff. You might just need more hangers or more hanging space. Invest in some magnet hooks. Bring them along to the cruise pop them right on the wall. And finally, pay attention when you're on board a cruise to all of the different specials and discounts that happen while you're on. Sometimes it'll be for the current cruise and sometimes, yeah, it'll be for a next potential one. Sometimes it's easy to feel like those things are too good to be true or they're trying to sell you on the spot like the candy bars at the aisle at checkout. But in reality, they're actually giving pretty good deals because they are trying to book up the cruise that comes next. Because once they have a set amount of spots, then guess what? They can start charging more to the people who haven't booked yet. It's just supply and demand.